Welcome back to the shipyard. Today we have the Kazon Blind Booster. And yes, that's right guys, no bones about it, we have a Predator class, which means of course a banana boat, except this one is not yellow, it is bronze. Maybe coppery? Not quite sure exactly what color to call it. It's not really my style. I do like the model though. I think that they did a wonderful job detailing this. I think that the bronze works very well here. They've got a nice silver on the inner workings of the machine pieces. Does it absolutely line up with what we saw in the show? No, but I'll take it. I think it's a cool representation of the model. It looks good. It looks similar to a repaint of what I did with my original banana boat. Now I have a few different models. It looks good. So, the named predator. It's the Nistrum Kulla, which you're going, wait, faction, Kulla, named ship. Yeah, that gives it away. Kulla's the captain. We'll get to that. All right, 4153 as you expect. Two tech slots, two crew, one weapon. Perfect distribution for Kazon. Love those slots. Only weird thing about this ship, doesn't have the scan action like the other Predators. Why? I don't know. I guess it reflects with the Nistrum small raider that we got in retail in Wave 4. It's out there. Still, more often than not, you're going to be battle stationing or target locking with this ship. So, probably not going to matter. Named ability here. Really cool. When attacking a ship at range 3, during the roll attack die step, gain plus 1 attack die for every friendly ship within range 1 of your ship, max of 2. Getting up to 6 as a passive ability, being able to have target lock or battle stations there. Good quality, 180 firing arc. Is it going to happen all the time? No, doesn't matter. This is passive, it works. Cool ability, I like having it as, a, as an option. Of course, generic. Save two points, lose that shield, lose a tech, and a crew, gain a weapon, though. So, that's weird. But hey, we saw this with the Dederdex model. So, nothing too outrageous here. It's a generic Predator class if you really want two weapons when you're building a ship going forward. That'll come into play. There aren't two weapons in this pack. So, hey, it's going to work just fine. All right, the aforementioned Kulla. Skill 6, talent slot, 4 points. When defending, roll plus 1 defense die for every tech upgrade deployed to your ship, max of 2. Another little spoiler, there's only one tech in this pack, so he's getting one extra defense die if you choose to go that route. That's going to help you a little bit as a passive ability. Why not? When you're building a fleet, have 2. Sure, what's not to like? When you're building on your own, you can mix them, put them on the USS Pegasus. That's got three tech slots. Now you can have a discard tech in there and still get your two bonus dice. So, Kala's got a nice little bit of potential. I'll take him as a very passive ability to get an extra defense die. Because at skill six, what's not to like there? His elite talent is Ambition. When attacking a ship that has more upgrades assigned to it, you may discard this card to either gain plus two attack dice or re-roll any of your attack dice. Now the timing there is important, right? You have to discard it to gain attack dice in the roll attack dice step or re-roll those dice in the modify attack dice step. But Ambition with the named ability is getting to some really interesting synergy because four base plus two for the named ability, plus two for ambition. Now we're at eight, and we can still take battle stations because none of this is an action. That's a really good alpha strike. Eight with battle stations at range three, 180 shot. I'm going to take that. I think Kazon is a legit thing here. I'll take ambition on the Rolora Senkur. That thing gets a extra die just for doing a green maneuver. Like, now I'll take seven every once in a while, five consistently. Um, Kazon just got totally legit. But wait, guys, there's still more to come. We've got a crew, Roulot. When attacking or defending, you may discard this card to re-roll any number of your dice. So now, Ambition, 
can work for the extra dice and Roulant get you a free target lock. I really start to see this pack coming together. Yeah, three points for a discard target lock, but it's an option. And he sits there and he works whenever you want him to work. So it's kind of like, what's not to like? The weapon in this pack is photonic charges, and we've seen these before, but I'll go over them again. Four dice, range one. Place an auxiliary power token beside the target ship. Place an auxiliary power token beside the target ship if there is at least one uncancelled hit or crit result. For a disable, it's a decent trade-off. Yeah, it's a bummer it's only at range 1, but inflicting auxiliary power is something that is useful to do. It messes with your opponent, it makes them predictable so long as they actually want actions, and it's not a bad thing to do. This is a card that is useful. So I consider taking it. I don't know if it'll make the final cut or not, but it's an option that I like to have, and with options come good creativity. And the last card in this pack is, of course, our tech, Stolen Technology, very thematic for Kazon. Action, discard this card to perform the action listed on a non-Borg tech upgrade deployed to an opposing ship within range 1 to 3 of your ship. And you can only buy this for a Kazon ship. So ultimately, this card is highly situational based on what your opponent does, right? They have to have non-Borg tech. It has to be an action, and they still have to have the tech. There aren't a ton of cards that do that. More so, you probably can't rely on it. But in a blind booster... I'm probably going to throw it on anyways, because one, you never know, right? If nothing else, think of this as three points to get an extra defense die. And at that, it's not terrible. And if it's an action that happens to be beneficial to you, so be it. There are some good tech cards out there that can work. Some of those cards like EM Pulse from the Ferengi or Klingon or Dominion, but especially the Klingon. Projected stasis field would be really cool to work. The ablative generator could even come into play if Voyager's running that. I know not a lot of people do, but there's always a chance. Some of the species tech could be there. All that being said, it's not going to come into play often. But it's there, right? It's situationally useful. It's not a card that you're going to run on an unlimited build most of the time, because you just can't depend on it. But it's a card you might throw in there. So overall, the Nistrum Kulla, really cool ship ability. I like the synergy that we're seeing exist in the faction, right? Every Kazon ship is starting to trigger off of friendly ships and, and doing things like that. And it's such a cool idea that you get rewarded for flying in good formation, right? There's drawbacks to that. But it's nice to have a faction that synergizes with that and makes people want to fly that way. Kula's a cool upgrade. It's not game-changing, but for a Kazon that was in desperate need of a little bit of a higher skill captain, a good card text, and somebody that can actually have some survivability, I, I think this is somebody that starts to help that process. Would I have liked to have seen another tech so that he could further enhance his abilities? You bet. Or maybe not be limited in the number of extra dice he could get from tech slots. But then he's an auto captain for the Dauntless and things just get crazy there. Sorry, Tucker, to ruin your fun on Battle Station. Um, overall, anyways, I don't see huge meta changing cards here, but I see a solid blind booster. That when you get this pack, you're going to go, all right, Kazon, cool. Maybe it's not number one or number two, but I don't think you're going to feel like, oh, I've got such a hard time. I think you're going to go, hey, cool. I got a solid ship. I got a chance to go out there and win. Um, and that's the same way I felt when I pulled Kazon in the Resistance is Futile boosters. And that's what I love to see. I love to see a solid ship that I know I'm going to have a chance with no matter what happens. So yeah, that's the Kazon. I hope you guys enjoyed what's there. I hope this sparks some creativity and some good discussion. Remember, keep it positive. Keep 
discussing why you like things, why you don't like things. The more you give reasonings, the better this community is. And until next time, we'll see you around the shipyard. Thank you guys for watching, and you guys take care.